Okay, how to do a pop shove it. Here you want to have your foot. Your first step. That is multiple steps. The first step to have your foot right here. Then move it to here with this foot all over here. This foot right here. Practice flinging this foot around this way here and around the whole 180 like this. Lift your foot up kind of when you do it like this. And catch it. You want to catch it right here. And then practice going like this. Right here, and turning this way. Here. Ah. You have this foot, this foot right here, right there. Lift it back and move this foot, move the skateboard that way, like this. And move it. I mean, gravel, so it's kind of hard. Okay. Then, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do that, but now, right here, go like this, and go off, back on. I kind of messed up here. You know what? Not that stuff. Just go like this. Keep practicing this for a while. And do it right here. Here, just keep going like this. Try to keep on catch. Try to catch it a couple times in a row, maybe if you want. Practice challenge. You want to challenge yourself for this, and then you can practice into doing this. Which what you do? Lift up. This foot kind of goes up a little bit. And fling this foot this way backwards. Just flings it, and once it does a. Whole Full 180, you do that, you jump, once the skateboard does full 180, land it. I'm trying to do that so you learn how to do this. This is a bad tutorial. I'll try to make another one better later, but you want to do that and land it like this. But land it. Here, let's see. So I just landed a pop shove it. Not a bad one, but on a good one. Okay, try to keep your body in one spot. If you have to, you can turn your body with the skateboard like this. So I land up like this instead of like this. Try to land like this. Or best like this. Or at least land like this. You don't want to land like this. Keep landing like this. What helps me is I take a video of myself doing it and I will like I will watch over the video and if I'm doing it wrong in the video I play the video slow motion, whatever. To see what am I doing wrong by jumping forwards, jumping backwards, jumping forwards and jumping backwards. I don't know what what was I doing. So doing that, so I moved a little bit. Oh shoot! I moved a little bit. Her I landed like this. I'm supposed to be landed like this. Keep doing that. I jumped forward a little bit, so I want to jump backwards. Keep doing that. Hopefully you can get it better and get better at it. And I know this is a really bad tutorial, but I'll try to figure out how to make a better one later. I'm just this is like a quick video I'm making from outside. Like I'm going camping this weekend. Gotta do everything I need to do, pack and stuff. So I just made a quick video, stuff like that. I really, really gotta get this stuff done. Um I'm sorry it took me so long on the videos, but yep, this is how you do a pop shove it on a pro skateboard or any skateboard just if you have like a plastic truck walmart board i have a plastic truck walmart board I haven't made a video about that yet maybe i might make one soon sooner or later if i have time i might make one today um but um yeah it's kind of hard to do stuff on like that and uh i need to tell you guys a um for those beginner skateboarders, like if you end up going to skate parks for your first day, something like that, and you get really tired of carrying your skateboard and you end up carrying it like this, holding the truck, that can sometimes ruin your trucks maybe if you have really bad trucks. And you can get made fun of. I've been made fun of multiple times. But you don't want to do that because that will like, um, like lower, lower your confidence lower your confidence about this like you don't really like this is called mall grabbing and it's like nobody does that 
But I mean, I don't know why exactly it's bad because I'm like, my dad was a really good skateboarder by my age and stuff, and he um, he knew a lot about that stuff. He just never told me. So just don't don't grab like this. Like most people grab at the tips like that, or they'll grab the sides, or, like hold it like that on the side while they're walking like this, or they'll walk like this. But nobody walks like this. It's kind of weird. And a lot of people, guys, when they pick it up, grab here, move it, put it in the spot they want. No, no. Here, try to try to do this. I'm gonna make a quick part video for this part. I'm already at like six minutes right now, so I'll make this quick part. Flick this foot this way. Hard enough where that will go up to you. You can grab it. It's scary, but you just gotta keep practicing. Just like that. See? Just like that. Just like that. If you wanna be a cool look at it. This is one I made up. I don't know if this is actual trick or not, but I made this up. It's really cool. Her foot under this. Lift it up where that board goes up your fingers. Grab it. You can turn the board around, step on it, and go if you want, like this. Grab it. Turn it around, step, and go. It's really fun. That's going to be the end of the video. I might make how to ollie your, like, once I learn how to kick flip better, I'll do kick flips, and once I learn, like, tray flips and stuff like that, I'll start doing those. And I might also make a video, like, the guide words, like, if you don't know what an ollie, a kick flip, tra tray flip, um, pop shove it. 180 no comply those are like some basic stuff but a lot of people actually like manual people don't know what that stuff is so i'm going to um tell you guys that stuff in one video i don't know if i'm actually gonna make it or not but i'll try to like figure that out soon make more videos soon sorry like make you guys wait but yeah this is the end of the video so see you guys in the next video